Welcome to the channel everybody. So every now and then whenever you're making a video, the video clips will get corrupted, is what they say. In simplistic terms, that means that they cannot work with the computer anymore. That happened to this video. So we're gonna kind of have to jump in at a random point uh, because the beginning of this video is not there. Just to preface where we left off at, it was pretty much just me doing my whole normal intro and then uh, me saying it's time to take off the grill. So you're really not missing much. So we will flash to me in the past taking off the grill in a second, but I'm actually looking at the finished product, the painted grill right now. And oh my gosh, it looks so good. It looks so much better than that original one. So I can't wait to show you guys the finished reveal, but I will stop talking now so you guys can actually watch the video. Here's past me taking off the grill. So, broke those. Break these real quick. See, it's really rough with them and then they'll break. This one is kind of stripped so it's not breaking. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I think I can reach the clip. And I can't move the camera, so you guys are just gonna have this terrible angle. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, this really hurts. Okay, so I think what I need is someone with really small arms. I need really, I need someone with a really small arm. My arm's not small enough, you might want to take the jacket off. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you'll rip your jacket. I actually am known for my small arms, and anytime when I worked at Alphac that they got locked out of the office, I would stick my hand through the envelope thing and pull them. That's exactly what I need you okay. to do. Do you see these little clips over here? See these clips right here? No. This one right here. This is a clip, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this clip, we have to go in through here. Can you get me a stepping stool? <laughs> so I just need you to go in through here and come up all the way to the clip and pull the clip up. Oh wait, I got it. Pull it. Ugh. Yay! My arm's stuck. Did you hurt your arm? No, I just got stuck for a second. <sighs> Thank you for your help. You're welcome. We did it. We got a Nissan Titan grill off. <laughs> Thank you. My hands are dirty. I need to clean this thing before it goes off the paint. Well, I'm going to go back to making mashed potatoes. Have fun. <laughs> Why is there water in it? Listen to this. Okay, listen. You hear that? Yeah. That's weird. Oh, it's coming out. Hold on, let me put it upside down. There's water in this thing. Well, that looks great. I'm glad that it's done. Definitely need some cleaning to do. I could dragonfly just chill in there, probably have my hamster eat that or something. The grill is off, so now we can send it off to be sanded and painted and stuff. I'll probably pressure wash it before I send it. Since it's Halloween, vlogging is about to get really awkward because I don't want to be screaming at a camera while there's tons of families around. People are already looking at me and it's really, really awkward because I'm looking at them and I'm talking and they think I'm talking to them, but I'm really talking to the camera. It's a whole awkward thing, so I will see you guys for me tomorrow, for you in this same video. I will see you guys tomorrow when I drop this off. All right, everybody, so for you, it wasn't any time at all, but for me, it's been over a week. So we're going to go pick up the grill now at Visual Effects, the paint shop that does all my paint. So this is the shop I always go to, Visual Effects, and they have another Titan here for some reason. I always come here for everything. They do really good work. All right, guys, so I have the grill right there. I'll show it to you guys a little bit more in detail when we get to the house, but it looks great. I mean, it's a very simple job, so it's not like it's gonna be, you know, anything crazy, but uh, yeah, the Nissan M could use a little clean up. I kept the Nissan emblem chrome uh, just because, I don't know, that's kind of the traditional Nissan emblem for these trucks. It's always chrome, so I wanted to keep it chrome. But yeah, it looks great. All right, guys, so here's the new grill. As I was talking about, the paint is perfect on this thing. The silver looks amazing. And then the mesh, I had them done in matte black, and this would work just fine in gloss black. But the door handles, the mirror, and that Cummins thing, will only pretty much work in matte black. Now, some people would say it would work in gloss black, and that's just your opinion, but my opinion is that those handles in in, uh, in a gloss black pop a little too much in kind of a weird way, so I wanna kind of keep everything matte black. So that's why we decided to do this in matte black. The Pro 4X Titans have a front grill with the color scheme of this, and that is where I got the main idea, but it is a little bit different if you look at the black. The black just is a different type of black. Um, but yeah, the silver looks so good. I love how the silver looks on that Titan logo. Yeah, I really like that. It just looks really, really good. So we're gonna go in and put it on the truck. And here's the thing, it's not gonna match yet. Obviously, the silver is gonna match the silver. I mean, that's just apparent. But the thing is, is that 
this bumper. I mean, the bumper is chrome while the grill is gonna be the colors that we have in here. And also this big dent, so it's not gonna match perfectly. And then everything else is chrome over there. So we're working on de-chroming everything. And this is just the first step. This is the first step of color matching. For next, we need to get a new bumper and color match it. The door handles and the mirror cap. And then this thing, I guess we should color match it. I just don't know if I want to, but we'll we'll see. And then also the Titan Lo letters on the side. I'll either take those off or color match them. I haven't figured that out yet. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, there's a lot of color stuff that we need to do on this truck. Um, a big part of any build is colors, and so we're not gonna be skipping out on that. And I wanna get it done before we lift it. One, because I want the truck to already look good before I lift it, so then the lift just makes it look that much better. And then also because lift kits are super expensive, and this stuff, while expensive, is not as expensive. Uh, so I wanna kinda allocate the money to this while I save up for the lift and stuff. Another thing is, is a lot of my money is going into this now. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys saw the last video or not, but this is the uh, the new build on the channel. So they're both going to be happening. That build and this build are both going to be happening. Uh, one is not going to take from the other, but this is a 1995 240 SX S14. And uh, yeah, I just got it. Y'all should go check out that video if you if you want. It's a pretty cool video, but um, man, I love the way it looks. Let's get this on. I think all I need to do, I have these clips right there in the bag. I just need to put them on to see where my thumb is. That right there. I need to like slide them in here and then slide them there. And then put them into where my middle finger is right there. That little pocket. Uh, and then I can just stamp the grill in, like clip it into everything. I think it'll go that easy. Before when I took the grill off, I had to figure out how these things came off, which was pretty much just breaking them. But putting them on is, uh, it's not that bad, but it is kind of tricky. You have to like shimmy them through. Impossible to film because it takes two hands and, a, and my leg to hold the thing up while I do it so uh, but yeah it's pretty it's not kind of tricky a little time consuming all right well I got all the clips on the grill assembly and uh, only one thing left to do is to snap it in should be pretty easy because there's just little holes to snap in and down here should be easy okay wait 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 almost forgot um, I should probably take the old clips out of this the destroyed clips yeah now I can go in Well, that is looking a lot cooler. It's not exactly lined up here. One, two clips have had an attitude going in. So we're gonna go on ahead and figure that out. Get those in there. I might have to, I don't wanna break them. I guess I just have to pry things up to line up. So I'll get some pry bar things too. And then we need to clean the, the grill has some dust on it. So we're gonna, and the whole truck needs to be cleaned. So we'll just clean the whole truck. So all the little clips are in the way they should be, except for this one. Um, so this one kind of came out a little bit out into where, you know, how these are all flush with it. This one kind of spewed out over it. Um, the thing is, is, the grill is on extremely tight. Like I'm pulling on it with a lot of force. It's lined up the same on each side. It's lined up perfectly. And when the hood shuts, it fits perfectly. So it's not really worth undoing it all just to get to that one piece because it all is on perfectly. So let's go in and clean up the truck and then I'll show you more shots of the new grill on the truck. So I went on ahead and watched the entire truck and um, it looks so good with the new grill. Some people may not like the style, they may like the chrome style more than that and that's fine. But the reason I went with this is because I kind of see the finished product in my head of what the whole build is gonna be. And this grill is very important for that finished product. So for me, I just see the pieces of the puzzle start to come together. And also it looks good outside of that. But uh, like I said earlier, it's not gonna really look right yet because a lot of the other stuff isn't color matched, but it still does look good. So there it is on the truck and you guys can see it really flows with the silver a lot better. It's not like silver and then stop and then chrome, it's just silver on silver. And it looks a lot better in my opinion. You guys can see the match is pretty much perfect. I mean this one's getting a little more sunlight right now, but um, because of the angle. The paint has no flaw in it whatsoever. Um, the black mesh looks awesome. And then the Nissan emblem still kept chrome just so it kind of pops. I really like it. I think it looks really, really good. Man, it really makes the Titan letters 
pop out a lot more. I mean, on the chrome one, they were there, but it's like they didn't pop out. On this one, it pops out a lot better. If you guys like the new grill color and you guys like where the build is going, hit the like button. The like button does a lot for the channel. It pushes it out into the YouTube algorithm and really helps me out. So if you guys want to either help out the channel or let me know that you like this grill, hit the like button because uh, it'll really help me out. Man, I like that so much better, how it just flows with the silver instead of being broken up by chrome. But yeah, like I said, hit the like button, guys, to let me know what you guys think of this because I... Uh, I really like this color silver, the silver that comes on the truck. It kind of catches a lot of the blues and the, the sharp whites and stuff. And man, I just think it looks so good. Haven't been here in a while. Well, I was going to set you on the dash, but I don't, I don't really have a dash in this car. Well, before I close the video, guys, I want to talk about something very important. Uh, so on the truck build, um, and on this car build, there's something to talk about. With these builds, I don't want you to think, oh, he's got the 240 now, so he's not gonna be building the truck, or, you know, he's gonna be focusing on the truck, so he's not gonna actually get to the 240. That's not what's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna focus on them both. Uh, there will be times, like weeks, where maybe the car gets more attention than the truck, just out of necessity, because there is so much to do. But the truck build will still happen, and man, the grill looks so good from over here. It just looks so much better than it did before. Like. I don't know, there's just way more of a mean look to me. I think it looks way better. Like for example, there's some things that need to get done on the truck very, very soon, like the rest of the color matching. Uh, more importantly, the thing that needs to get done is the fuel system on the truck. You know, the tunes are pretty powerful on the truck and the fuel pump, fuel injectors, pretty much the entire fuel system on that thing, all the filters and stuff are not that good and really need the upgrades just from stocks, so let alone with the tunes on it. It really needs that. So that's something that's gonna be happening soon. Yeah, then also we're gonna be doing some stuff on the car really, really soon. Hey right, guys, and with that being said, thanks for stopping on the channel. Go and subscribe and hit the notification bell, browse the rest of the videos, and I am out.